comedy. In 2007, I assumed the helm of the Guam Community College. My journey to this position was not the traditional pathway as I moved up through the finance ranks of the college, serving in various financial positions, first as a general accounting supervisor, then the assistant to the vice president for financial affairs, comptroller, vice president for financial affairs, and then becoming president in 2007. Over the years, the mission of the college was refined and today it reads, Guam Community College is a leader in career and technical workforce development, providing the highest quality student-centered education and job training for Micronesia. Not only do we focus on this mission each day, we focus on student success, whether it be in our secondary or post-secondary environments. I have the opportunity to work with an amazing set of individuals, faculty, staff, administrators, but most importantly, students and graduates of the Guam Community College. Our community college offers certificates, associate's degrees, journey worker certificates, adult high school diplomas, and other certifications through our continuing education and workforce development office. As a leader of an educational institution, it is important to recognize the diverse students that we serve. In addition, we look for opportunities to advance higher education for members of our community. So how do we do this? Let me start by sharing a story. A few years ago, I heard the voice of a high school senior on the radio. And she shared a quote from Alexander Dehenia that said, when a flower doesn't bloom, you fix the environment in which it grows, not the flower. This saying resonated with me and the initiative that the college sought to achieve as a result. As parents, we always look for ways to encourage our children to do their best, keeping in mind that not all of our children are the same. They have different personalities, they have different wants and desires, unique obstacles and challenges. But as parents, we always stand by them through trying times, and we celebrate when they reach milestones. So what is it if what if we gave you an opportunity to experience college at an earlier age? What if we stepped out of the status quo, completely outside of our comfort zone, and made an impact that would possibly change the lives of our students for the next generations to come. What if there is an educational workforce opportunity in this concept? An opportunity to rethink high school and transform it into a model called the Early Middle College. What if we launched this Early Middle College initiative for students in high school as early as the ninth grade and provide them with an opportunity to earn a certificate or an associate's degree before they even walk across that stage to receive their high school diploma. In the past several years, I've seen the number of students that participate in the GCC Career and Technical Education offered in the high schools from 1,925 students in academic year 2007-2008 to 2,782 students in our current academic year. There are currently 12 career and technical education programs being serviced in the six Guam public high schools. The number of, these increasing number of students 
tells us that there is an interest in choosing career and technical education for everyone, especially those that enter our workforce. In order for us to expand these opportunities for students, we need to garner community support. There are many in our community and now throughout the world that support this framework. It already exists. The pathway exists. The interest exists. And the financial investment already exists. Let's take a look at a pathway of a high school sophomore who began in 2018 in a pursuit of a college degree. He started off by participating in the dual credit articulated program of study, or DCAPS. His program was construction technology. With the support of his high school counselor, he mapped out his educational journey and realized that if he completed the DCAPS program, earning a B or greater in each of his courses, completed 180 hours of work experience, he would earn a certificate of mastery. Then, if he enrolled in GCC part-time while working on his DCAPS, he would also obtain nine college credits for DCAPS and then the remaining courses needed for his certificate in construction technology. If it were not due to COVID-19, this student, this male individual, would be our very first student to complete the early middle college program. He will complete one semester late, but nonetheless, he will be our first example that this concept actually works. In addition, the college also launched a telecommunications program with our Teton High School. This year, students from that program will complete their certificate of mastery, and in this instance, earning 19 college credits as they graduate from high school. How cool is that? 19 college credits. If these students were connected to an early middle college platform, they would also have the opportunity to complete their remaining courses for the certificate or an associate's degree program. So why choose between college and a career? Why not just choose both? Why not take advantage of the opportunity that exists? Help us build this program with you with all the 12 career and technical education programs that the Guam Community College currently has to offer. Let's rise to this occasion and change, reimagine how career and technical education can be experienced as early as the ninth grade. So just ma'asi to all of you, and thank you very much for your attention.